So Qualcomm has just released another chipset designed for mid-range smartphones. It has an upgraded architecture, faster CPU and graphics. So in today's video, I will review this chipset performance in different areas, including N229 scores, memory, multimedia, connectivity, and gaming. And finally, I will give you a complete evaluation of the user experience. So starting our review with N229 benchmarks. So the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 has proven to be a superior performer in the N229 benchmark scores, particularly in GPU performance, showcasing a significant boost compared to its competitors. With an impressive total GPU scores of 162,367, it has surpassed the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G processor. But when it comes to CPU performance, it has also achieved one of the top scores with a total score of 177,123. In CPU performance, the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 is particularly slower compared to the Snapdragon 778G processor. That is because of the memory clock. I will get there in a minute. Additionally, the memory scores has displayed a notable improvement with a total score of 101,455. The UX performance of the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 is also equally impressive with a scores of 120,496, surpassing that of the Snapdragon 778G processor. The Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 cumulative score exceeds 559,540, making it a high capable and formidable contender in the market. Now let's talk about the Geekbench 5 or the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. The Geekbench 5 scores of this mid-range processor are really exceptional, with the single core scores of 706 and the multi-core scores of 2387, which is truly impressive. And if you are enjoying this video, then sub to the channel will be awesome. Now let's talk about the CPU of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. So the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 has a total of 8 cores, including one ultra-fast core based on Cortex S710 clocked at 2.4 GHz. And other 3 cores are also based on Cortex S710 clock at 2.36 GHz, while the remaining 4 cores rely on Cortex A55 and clock at 2 GHz, which are power efficiency cores. The Cortex A710 provides an exceptional speed and a robust architecture. While this processor may not be considered as the fastest, but it is powerful enough to outperform some of the latest and greatest processor available in the market. This processor is fabricated using 4 nanometer node, which offer power efficiency, consuming less battery, and producing less heat, which excels to the greater performance. Now let's talk about the graphics of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 has one of the fastest GPU in its lineup, and it is manufactured using 4 nanometer process technology, resulting in enhanced power efficiency. With the clock speed of 600 MHz and 384 shading units, the GPU provides smooth graphic rendering for gaming, with the ability to handle popular games like PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG New States, Free Fire and many more. The GPU scores are faster than that of the Snapdragon 778G processor, further emphasizing the chipset exceptional gaming capabilities. Additionally, the GPUs does support the DirectX 12, enabling to accumulate the latest games seamlessly without bugs or delays. Let's talk about the gaming of the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. The improved Adreno Graphing Processing Unit makes the game smoother and faster by running graphics 20% quicker for seamless high dynamic range HDR gameplays. Additionally, there are certain Snapdragon Elite gaming features, such as Qualcomm Game Quick Touch and Arduino Frame Motion Engine. The Arduino Frame Motion Engine further enhances the responsiveness and efficiency of the system. Now let's talk about the memory of the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. The Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 utilizes the new LPDDR5 RAM technology with the memory frequency of 3200 MHz. The maximum memory bandwidth of this chipset is 25 gigabytes per second. And for storage, the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 uses the UFS 3.1 storage technology for faster read and write speeds. Now let's talk about some features of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. The 7 Gen Core Qualcomm AI engine makes the device smarter by boosting the AI performance up to 30%. It has many initiative AI features such as camera deep learning face detect which can recognize 300 facial landmarks for precise autofocus even when you are wearing a mask. The Snapdragon 7 Journal chipset is capable of supporting full HD plus displays with 144Hz and Quad HD Plus displays with 60Hz. The Qualcomm Spectra Triple 14-bit ISP allows you to capture from three cameras simultaneously with smooth zooming and parallel processing up to 2.5 gigapixels per second. The camera support of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 is up to 200 megapixels, which is the first time for Snapdragon 7 series. The video capture of this processor is supported at 4K at 30 frames per second and the video playback is also kept at 4K at 30 frames per second. Now let's talk about the connectivity of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. The Snapdragon X62 5G 
Modem RF system is a 5G technology that can be used for cloud gaming all over the world. It has the first 3GBP release 16 5G solution in the Snapdragon 7 series and it supports both MMF and sub 6 GHz spectrum. The Qualcomm Fast Connect 6700 provides super fast Wi Fi with the speeds of up to 2.9 GB per second. The chipset also supports LE audio, allowing you to sync and broadcast in game sound to multiple devices. Additionally, the chipset features Bluetooth 5.2 for reliable and efficient wireless connections. Now, let's talk about the final thoughts on the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. The Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 chipset surpasses the Snapdragon 768G in terms of performance and efficiency and beats some of the latest processors available in the market. This is because of the four high performance cores which are based on the Cortex S110 which significantly enhances the chipset performance. The chipset's frequency of 2.4 GHz is adequate for extended gaming sessions and additionally the LPDDR5 frame supports ensures seamless performance without any lags or delays. This means the chipset is capable of providing an enhanced performance and speed and this process is considered to be a good option for manufacturers like Xiaomi, Samsung, Vivo and more. So this was my full review on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. If you found this review helpful and useful, please consider subscribing to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video from our channel. And if you like this video then give us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. So my name is Hamza, this is Hairstick and see you in the next video. If you want to watch the full review on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 782G, then that video is right here. And if you want to watch the full review on the Vivo IQ New 7, then that video is right here. Thank you for watching.